the advisor's skill and do not reflect the performance results that were achieved by any particular client. From 1973 through 2010, the advisor was not providing advice using this model, and clients' returns were materially different. The model that gave rise to this back-tested performance returns is one that the advisor is now using in managing clients' accounts and has been doing so since 2011. Talk 1470 is WWNN Pompano Beach and 95.3 FM W237BD Boca Raton. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. 1470 AM and 95.3 FM. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. Listen for the latest on nutritional facts on Food for Thought with your host, Jolie Root. Mondays at noon. WNN. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, tune in to the Dr. Bob Martin Show. From erectile dysfunction to eczema, heartburn to headaches, carpal tunnel to how to lower cholesterol drug-free. Sunday mornings at 10 on Talk 1470 WNN. Let's talk about the X's and O's of family entertainment. Every parent in Florida knows the importance of being able to draw up an activity that'll get you out of the house for a couple of hours. But it needs to be affordable. It needs to be family-friendly. Above all, it needs to be fun. Now, let's talk about high school sports. Bang for your buck, school sports provide the perfect game plan for your family. You'll enjoy all of the drama and excitement competitive sports offer. You'll be supporting the future leaders of our community in a meaningful way. Best of all, you can take the entire family without breaking the bank. Heck, you won't even dent it. Now, enough Chalk Talk. Let's get out there and see what's playing at the high school in your community. School sports. Good for our kids. Good for our community. This message presented by the Florida High School Athletic Association and the Florida Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Talk health. Talk wealth. Talk politics. Talk 1470 and 95.3 FM WNN. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go to play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shub, and tonight, like we always do, we're going to talk a little golf. We're going to talk some travel. We're going to actually mix both of them up a little bit tonight as well, especially in just a few minutes when we'll be chatting with Jeff Harold. And I've kind of known Jeff for a long time. I see him at the PGA Merchandise Show every year, although I don't always get to talk to him because he's one of the busiest guys there. He's the uh, president and CEO of a company called West Coast Trends. They're the makers of Club Glove which um, are those beautiful travel uh, golf bags that you see all the pros using, uh, as well as Shaden Precision Eyewear, some beautiful high-end uh, sunglasses, Train Reaction, which is uh, very, very cool upscale luggage that kind of hooks together like a train, and uh, Caddy Towels, which are very uh, uh, lush uh, upscale uh, towels that your caddy, or if you don't have a caddy, you can take your own towel out there out on the golf course, and uh, I've used that product, and, uh, and I love it. So uh, we'll be talking to Jeff in just a little bit, so obviously his products are great for those of you out there who are golfers and those of you who are travelers and not necessarily golfers, so... Uh, it'll be interesting. Um, also, of course, uh, I've got a bunch of deals for you later on in the show, and we may sprinkle in a couple sooner as well. And uh, last week, I was not with you all because I was out in Las Vegas for a week, and I do have some tales to tell from that trip, and uh, probably a little bit later in the show, I think we'll talk about that. First off, I just want to give you a little bit of local information, stuff that you might not have heard about. Um, it was actually taking place on Monday just across the highway from my office. I, I did not get an invitation, so I'm a little bit angry about that, but uh, we'll, we'll work that out. Uh, but this was the Ernie Ells event. It was a, a benefit event for uh, Ells for Autism, the Pro-Am, uh, ninth annual event. And the cool part about the story is that Jack Nicklaus played in the event. Jack does not play golf very often anymore, maybe just a couple of times a year at most. 
The main reason is is that his game is not as good as it used to be, and it's not as good as he would like it to be. He is 77 years old at this point, and he his best game is either on the tennis court or designing golf courses perhaps these days. And uh, his game hasn't been so so good, but it seems that on Monday – he shot a 71, so he beat his age by six strokes. It's, uh, according to hit Jack, it's his best score that he shot in some time. Only his second round under 80 since November. And obviously he was very, very pleased. And of course it's for a, a great cause. So, um, I encourage you all to, uh, maybe Google, uh, L's for autism. I don't have that, uh, that handy, but, um, it, it's a great cause. And, and t- I tip my hat to Ernie for, uh, speaking out on behalf of autism. Of course, he has a son who, uh, is autistic and, um, kept it as a secret for a couple of years and then decided that he wanted to become public with it and be a spokesperson, activist, fundraiser. And, uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, speaking about charitable folks and charitable events, uh, uh I don't know, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month or two ago, we were talking to the folks from Under Armour Eyewear, and I got some information that they are partnering for a tournament, and it's uh, called Caddy for a Cure. And this is a um, a charity that does really great work um, for wounded military veterans as well as uh, a um, disease called Fanconi anemia. And I suppose what they're doing is is they're donating their eyewear um, for this tournament, which is, is just very, very cool. And, you know, I, I, I wear their eyeglasses, their sunglasses, and it's a great product. And I just really like to hear when um, folks in the golf industry or any industry are working with charitable causes that are so important as this one is. Uh, this particular event, what they do is, is they raise money by having folks have an opportunity to actually caddy for, uh, you know, playing professionals. So, uh, it, it's just very, very cool. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this particular charity, uh, caddy, C-A-D-D-Y, four, F-O-R, a cure, C-U-R-E dot com. And, uh, you can find out how you can support that charity. Maybe somehow figure out how you could be a caddy. Uh, I also wanted to address the fact, um, and for those of you who listen to us on Sunday on WSBR 740 AM, 96.9 FM and 103.9 FM at 6 PM every week. Um, but tonight is actually St. Patrick's Day, and I did um, find a couple of really cool deals to get you from here to there, as well as uh, some flights from there to elsewhere that are just remarkably inexpensive. And, and I may throw that out for you in a, in a couple of minutes, unlike usually I, I save all of the deals for the end of the show. But I personally, I was curious, and, and I got some information from the folks over in Ireland, actually, about um, just facts about St. Patrick's Day, you know, things that you, you probably didn't know. And before I, I talk about how wonderful it is to go visit St. Patrick's uh, or, or visit on St. Patrick's Day or, or go to the parade uh, wherever you might be or um, just go on vacation in spring, of course, the Irish spring, that's a great time to go. Um, I, I just was fascinated by some of these facts. I thought I kind of knew what was going on, but but obviously not. So first of all, why do we celebrate it on, on this date? And um, the reason is, is actually Patrick, uh, who is a saint, of course, it, it's the celebration of his death. He died on this date, uh, March 17th. So that's why St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th. Um, also, uh, the first parade actually did not take place in Ireland, did not take place in New York. The first St. Patrick's Day parade was in Boston in 1737. New York followed in 1766. And the first one in Ireland was in Waterford in 1903. And Dublin didn't have their own until 1931. So I found that kind of surprising. I lived in New York for many, many years. The St. Patrick's Day parade and the celebrations uh, surrounding it uh, were massive. And and, uh, everybody had a great time, of course. Um, you know, the, the question is also who, whose idea was it to actually have St. Patrick's Day? And actually, it was a fellow, um, a Franciscan friar from Waterford by the name of Luke Wadding. And uh, this was, uh, he was born in 1558, died in 1657. So he lived uh, to be a, a ripe old man, I suppose. And it, and it was uh, his idea, I suppose. Um was St. Patrick really Irish? And the answer is no. He, he wasn't even born in Ireland. So, so I found that to be kind of interesting and well, uh, as well. And, um, uh, you know, the, the question also is, is why do people, um, wear green, of course? And, uh, 
you know, now, of course, green is synonymous with St. Patrick's Day and, and everybody all over the world wears something green. But it only became a tradition in the 19th century. So uh, prior to that, actually, people wore blue to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So I, I don't know, found it all quite fascinating. But uh, what's even more fascinating to me is the fact that um, travel to Europe these days has gotten ridiculously inexpensive. And sometimes it's not that easy to grab an inexpensive flight if you're listening to us here in Florida or South Florida. Um, oftentimes you do need to get up to maybe New York or, or Boston or uh, um, Baltimore, um, you know, or, or the West Coast, LAX or, or Seattle to, to go to Asia, especially um, or Europe, um, you know, depending on where you're leaving the country for. But when I find deals that are emanating here in South Florida and are still a great deal, it saves you a lot of time and a lot of money. So when I saw this, it was just announced um, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, of course. Round trip airfare from Miami um, is little as three hundred and ninety dollars round trip. Um, I mean, that's just crazy. I, I, I'd say wow, but of course I'd be being silly because it's Wow Airlines, which um, out of Miami. Uh, so you could fly in from April twenty fifth to June thirteenth, or September nineteenth to October twenty fourth to Dublin for between three ninety and four fifty. Cork is uh, a little bit more expensive. It's uh, between 494 and 525. Um, you know, you'll stop in Reykjavik for a short layover. It's possible to arrange a longer layover in Iceland as well, if that's something that you're you're interested in pursuing. But uh, these prices are are just ridiculous. So um, this was, uh, like I said, Wow Airlines is where you can find that. But then to top it off, I found uh, today. Um, another sale in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And um, those those fares, by the way, I'm not sure exactly when they expire on uh, WOW, so, but I would hurry. These uh, special deals never last too long. Uh, this particular sale, once you get over to Ireland, if you're interested in going further and seeing some other places in Europe, a sale on Ryanair, and you may not be familiar with Ryanair because they don't really advertise here in the States, but they're one of the uh, biggest, uh, cheapest discount carriers in Europe. And they have flights starting at $10.74. Um, leaving from Ireland and going uh, to other places. Um, these flights are limited, of course, but they do have thousands of seats. Um, they're throughout the months of March and April. And like I said, you do have to book them by midnight this Sunday, March 19th. And uh, these flights... Um, you know, or, or let's see, for, for $10 to, uh, let's see, leaving from Dublin, Kerry, Cork, or Shannon, heading to Glasgow and Leeds for um, $10.75 to London and Edinburgh. There are just a little bit more, um, you know, like less than $30, $25 or $30. Also, same kind of pricing for Barcelona, Madrid, Lisbon, Milan, and others. So, again, I, I advise you, if you're interested in going to Ireland and then seeing other parts of Europe, you're not going to find it any cheaper than this. And, and right now, um, you know, the, these airfares are just crazy. Now, keep in mind, though, that when you do book either on WOW or on Ryanair, uh, these are your super, super discount carriers. So, yes, their prices are very low. But if you do want to actually have a reserved seat, they may charge you extra. If you want to take a suitcase uh, other than a carry-on, they may charge you extra. As a matter of fact, on Ryanair, they may even charge you extra for a carry-on. So th these are, you know, bare bones kinds of pricing. But these are numbers that uh, certainly we, we've never seen before. We may never see again. And I can't urge everybody enough that now is the time to uh, to be traveling. Uh, to keep in mind as well that all of these prices were based upon when oil was selling for over $50 a barrel. In the past week or so, it's come down significantly. So these sales that we're seeing uh, for airfare, they may continue to um, uh, go on. Uh, you know, a lot of people were thinking it could be for a short period of time, and, and before you know it, uh, they would go away. But I have a feeling that we're in for a good run, maybe for the rest of the year, certainly for the rest of the summer travel season. So... I'll keep reporting on it for all of you so that uh, you can take advantage of it. I don't always have the time to, so uh, hopefully you will be able to. All right, what I think we're going to do is we're going to take our first break, and then hopefully we will get a hold of our first guest, Jeff Harold from West Coast Trends, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the cool products that they make. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of the Golf and Travel Show. Swing. 
And we are back. If your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders. Labor Finders places for temporary or temporary to hire opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled or general labor positions such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, office clerical, hospitality and much more. Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide. Near here in Boca Raton, they have offices in Homestead, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and in Jupiter. So if you need legal insured workers or if you're looking for work, call Labor Finders toll free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749 or visit laborfinders.com. And um, as I had mentioned earlier in the show, I've uh, known this guy for a long, long time. See him working real hard, harder than anybody at the PGA Merchandise Show every year up in Orlando. Uh, and probably because he's a nice guy, but also because they got a really cool product line. So to learn a little bit more about the different products that um, uh, Jeff, uh, the CEO, Jeff Harold from Club Glove, as well as uh, Caddy Towels and... Um, uh, oh, a whole host of other products we'll find out about. Uh, I'd like to introduce Jeff Harold. Jeff, are you there? I am here. Thank I'm you for standing on the driving range right now at Mission Viejo Country Club in Southern California. It's an absolutely gorgeous day, and someone told me it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and so there's a lot of drinking going on and a lot of people having fun. There's actually a demo day. We got Callaway out here, we got Titleist, Taylor Made. Uh, Travis Matthews out here, and of course we got our club glove set up and our shade and eyewear set up. We do we do some really cool lifestyle pilot eyewear actually that we're actually showing out here also. Well, usually when most people call me and they're not in Florida, I have the better weather. But the, you're competitive with what we have here in South Florida, so you're very fortunate to be out there um, having a lot of fun. It sounds like it's always great when you can work and enjoy your work. Correct. Absolutely, and like the folks in Boca Raton area, we get to play golf year-round, so, uh, you know, we're, we're very fortunate, very blessed people <laughs> to not only to be able to play the game, but to be able to play year-round is, uh, is quite a treat, so. Life is good, right? So, oh, let's, yeah. let's talk a little bit about your products, because you have a lot of them, and we have limited amount of time, and why don't we start with Club Glove? That's the first product that, that I purchased from you guys many years ago. I've been reporting on it as well, but of course, um, for a tournament that I was doing for, um, for the winning teams, uh, got a whole bunch of them. People love them. But not only do the folks in these um, amateurs love them, but you work a lot with some big-name pros, too. So obviously there's something to it. Why don't you talk a little bit about club gloves? Well, the club glove golf travel bag, that's what put us on the map. The, the club glove name actually came from the first neoprene head covers that we made for putters and iron covers. Hmm. And uh, then we developed the travel bag in nine, late 1996, and we our first Ryder Cup team that we outfitted outfitted was 1997 and we've been a part of nearly every other Ryder Cup team uh, from that point on all the way up until the last winning team thank God we won of course <laughs> and because uh, it's been a, it's been a rough run for the Ryder Cup over the last uh, 20 years well for better or worse know. I, I don't think that um, the club glove has much to do with their play out there I mean I guess their, their no, clubs get there safe and sound doesn't <laughs> We, one thing we have made sure we've gotten our clubs there in in good fashion. There's no doubt about that. And so no, it's been it's been used now by oh my goodness, I could go ahead and name some names. You know, Rory McIlroy, Henrik Stenson, Jason Day, Matt Kuchar, Justin Rose. You know, there's not too many players. Uh, you know, Ricky Fowler. There's not too many players that you can you can name that don't use a club glove or have some sort of piece of club glove luggage in their in their repertoire for. Uh, for uh, uh, travel. Funny story, actually, uh, Dan. When I went to the Ryder Cup in 2006 over in uh, Ireland, I was in the K-Club, and I was having lunch, actually, with Sergio Garcia's mother and his brother. 
Now, she didn't speak any English. I speak a little Spanish. And the funny thing is, when she learned that I was the owner of Club Glove, she immediately warmed up because what I realized is she was packing Sergio's Club Glove bag all those years when he was just a young kid. <laughs> and it, it, it becomes kind of a household name. So here's Sergio Garcia's mother knows the, the brand name like 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 somebody knows any other household name. So that's that's kind of cool. So it's really been well known with all the tour players. And now what we're trying to do is let everybody know about our luggage because it's also become the number lo- number one luggage on the PGA Tour. Yeah, and, no, I, uh, I, I I saw some of the photos of of how all your luggage. Well, first of all, the the quality of it, but but the little train that you create, and I thought that was really cool because people that do have a big you know professional bag of clubs, a, a, a tour bag, it's a lot to, to carry. So to to try and negotiate that, you need to be clever. So to talk a little bit about how clever these are. Well, you know, they're so clever that Dustin Johnson just ordered two sets, one for his, his son and one for his father-in-law, which we all know is Wayne Gretzky. Mm-hmm. And and so, of course, Dustin is one of the players that uh, that uses our luggage, and we, we appreciate all of his support for our brand. But, uh, no, the, the, the bags have, uh, they're, they're, first off, they're made in America, okay? Mm-hmm. The thread is actually spun in Tennessee. It's dyed and woven up in Connecticut and then trucked across the country, and we sew it together here. All the injection molding for the wheel bases are done right in Long Beach. And so you truly have an American-made product here, which is hard to say. Then the luggage connection system, this is something that no one else has. As much as everybody sees the four-wheel luggage out there in the world, the four-wheel luggage is great on a very smooth floor, a concourse of an airport. But it doesn't work well outside of the airport, on sidewalks, driveways, anything that has any sort of an uneven surface. In fact, you'll notice that flight crews don't use four-wheel luggage for the simple reason that it doesn't work out. It's Basically, it's office chair wheels on a piece of luggage, right? Mm-hmm. And, and that doesn't work well out there. So we've also figured out how to connect our luggage. The players always are hauling. You know, they bring the families out now. You, we've all seen the kids running up, hugging dad after they win. And so they're connecting their luggage now with our train reaction luggage connection system, which is patented. And now you can wheel two, three, or even maybe four pieces of luggage with one hand and take a phone call. You can actually talk on the phone while you're wheeling all of your luggage. It's, it's truly amazing. You would never, ever, ever have to rent an airport card again with our luggage system. Now, are we expensive? I would say yes. We're in the higher premium end of the luggage world, okay? But it's also something that's going to last you a lifetime. And for your listeners today, I do this anytime you get the owner on the show, I can do these crazy type of promotional things. If anybody <laughs> listening today, if you, you just think about this, info at clubglove.com. That's, that's the email address to our website, info at clubglove.com. And if you simply email in to us, I'd like to try the TRS ballistic or the ballistic luggage at 50% off. We'll send you any pieces of the ballistic luggage. Now, the ballistic luggage only because we're in promo mode on that right now. And I want more Americans to try this luggage out right now and keep a lot of Americans employed, by the way, because we probably touch about 500 families across the country with all the different parts that we make for this, which is truly different from an imported piece. So, again, info at clubglove.com. Just put in there. 50% 50% off ballistic luggage. You can go on our website, look at the TRS ballistic, and and take a look and see what you need and give it a try. And we're, we'll probably uh, do this for like, you know, you can email in and we'll give you a week to make a decision and then that promo will be gone. <laughs> so Hey, you snooze, you lose, right? You snooze, you lose, but what an opportunity. Sure. And my, my staff is going to hate me because, you know, they're, they're going to get real busy right now. And they're going, there goes Jeff doing one of those crazy <laughs> promos again. <laughs> but, you know, this is how we started with the travel bag, too. You know, we had to get it out there, get people, uh, you know, using it and, and enjoying it. And that's how you get the word out on something. So make sure it gets into the hands of the real travelers. So, there you go. Now, now there are some other products as well that you guys uh, provide that are also high end. You had mentioned your eyeglasses, and we'll talk about that in a second. But, but again, there's a product that I've used of yours before, although somebody stole it or it disappeared somehow. But because um, people like it so much, and that's the caddy towel. I, I had it on, you know, with my clubs for for many years, and now I have a new sample, and I'm 
getting some for a tournament that I'm going to be running as well uh, next month. And um, but, but this towel, I, I mean, I, I go to tournaments and, and they give you towels and they're cheap towels. And I have about 40 of them in my closet and I, I hate them all. But uh, this one is different. So why don't you explain a little bit about your caddy towels? Well, in 2006, we came out with our first golf towel, and a towel supplier came in, and he brought me all these different fabrics. And I picked this one that had that waffle texture, kind of mm-hmm. like that plush bathrobe you get in the high-end resort, right? Yep. And he looked at me, and he said, that's the most expensive one we have in the sample set here. <laughs> and he goes, you're not going to want that. And I said, well, you know what? We need to test this thing out. So we did, and we were the first ever waffle-textured microfiber towel, and we are now... Uh, the number one in that category, and we probably have more wins on tour, you know, the caddy using that bag or that, that towel, uh, than any other towel design in golf, I would think, except, may, you know, in terms of the last couple of years, maybe some terry cloth that's been around forever. But it, if you watch, you start watching on TV, start looking for that waffle textured towel, and you will see it out there. And, uh, and it does, uh, it just, it works tremendously well. You can actually, it's soft enough that you can clean your sunglass lenses with it, but it's got enough grit that you can clean the grooves on your on your irons with it. Yeah, and even though that product for a towel is expensive, it's still quite affordable because it's a towel. It's not a set of luggage, so it's uh, anybody can afford that, and it, it, it makes a gift for those uh, folks that need to get a lot of gifts for a lot of people. So uh, keep that well, in mind. A, now, now a lot of microfiber, a lot of microfiber towels. And one more thing I want to add sure. about that, we're kind of excited, is um, – we're actually doing the towel, the, the, the actual true Masters towel. So if you do go to the Masters this year, go to the Souvenir Tent and get yourself a real authentic Club Glove Masters caddy towel right there. So we're pretty proud of that, too. We're pretty exciting, excited to uh, partner up with the folks at Augusta. So. It's just around the corner, so we know spring is here. Um, now, the, your sunglass line, that's also a beautiful high-end line. Why don't you briefly tell us about that? Well, this all started in 1998. I I began flying as a better form of transportation. I was going to the PGA show in, in Vegas across town. It took me seven hours. It should be a four-hour drive. And I met one of the other guys that, that got there. He flew his own airplane. I said, i got to try that out. So I took flying lessons, took up flying, and then I realized that there was really no high-end, premium, comfortable, incredibly well-manufactured eyewear frames that, that are comfortable under a headset or a hat when you're flying. And so I designed the Shaden Eyewear brand, which is spelled S-C-H-E-Y-D-E-N. Um, and uh, we did, I flew to Japan. We set up manufacturing. Everything we do is all, all of our metals are high-end titanium, uh, wonderful composites. And as you know, most people know, the Japanese are some of the world leaders when it comes to lens technology. Just think of all the camera lenses they make. And uh, so uh, once again, uh, Incredibly good quality, will last you a long time, and it's uh, it's kind of uh, right in our, I think, it, I wouldn't call it a golfing sunglass necessarily. It's more of a lifestyle precision eyewear. If we're flying your airplane, cap, captain on a boat, we have polarized, beautiful polarized frames and lenses, excuse me, lenses with beautiful wrap frames. And, uh, and then, you know, driving around your convertible, these are just exquisite, beautiful, high-quality uh, uh, sunglasses that you, you know, you want to cherish them. I, I tell my friends, if you, if you're going to do an action sport and you might get hit in the face, don't use these. These are for, for perfect vision. And, you know, we've had players play in the past. Uh, when we first, I've had these for years now. Doug Tool, if many, some people may remember him from the Champion Store. He won five times one year and he was wearing our sunglasses. Wow. So that was probably one of the best things, but, my, primarily, we actually service the pilot world. We, uh, we've uh, done the Air Force Thunderbird team uh, 10 out of the last 11 years. So uh, the Thunderbird pilots have been using it. We have Red Bull Air Race pilots using it, uh, other aerobatic show pilots. And then I thought, you know, we should really start introducing this to the mainstream because they're so beautiful and so well made. I know that uh, golfers that demand good equipment are going to really enjoy the quality of our sunglasses, too. Well, we're just about out of time, but obviously, if you go to clubglove.com, you can see all this stuff. It's hard to describe it on the radio, but if you go there, you could take a look and find it. And uh, I appreciate you joining us and filling everybody in. Like well, I say, I talk and, to you all the time, I'm, but I'm it's well, been a while.